right, welcome everyone and thank you for joining us today at the Money Show virtual event for our final presentation. Our next presenter is Oliver Velez, Chief Trading Officer and CEO of iFund Traders. Oliver inaugural keynote speaker of the First Traders Expo, international best-selling author, world-renowned trader, advisor, and entrepreneur is back at the show after a seven-year hiatus, representing a rare opportunity to meet one of the most sought-after speakers and teachers on the subject of trading the financial markets for a living. Oliver, thank you for joining us today. Stage uh, is thank, you. thank you for having Thank you for having me once again. Okay. Hi, traders. Hi, investors. Um, today, we're going to have a really dynamic 30-minute presentation on really how to be on the right side of the market almost every single time. And that may sound initially like a tall order. It may sound like that's impossible to be on the right side virtually every single time. But after this presentation and after I show you a few tricks and techniques, I'm willing to bet that you're gonna leave this presentation believing that it is possible to virtually be on the right side virtually every single time. I'm gonna to try to do that. Now, for those of you who have no idea who I am, um, my name is Oliver Velez. I've been a professional trader for the past three years. I placed my first trade 38 years ago. I started my professional trading career in 1986. I've helped to build the direct access trading um, industry in, 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 in certain ways. I've been a pioneer on the educational side, teaching um, trading firms, professional traders. I currently have over 10,000 traders in over 91 different countries around the world under my trading guidance today. Um, for those of you who wanna follow some of my work, I strongly encourage that you um, subscribe to my, my YouTube channel here. You can, you can find me at Oliver Velez Trading every single day, 365 days a year. I am putting out free content to help you raise your level of market sophistication. Okay. Um, very quickly, um, as I mentioned, became a professional trader in December 6, 1986. I founded a company um, that really rocked the trading world all the way back in 1994. Over a 12 year period, I grew that company into being one of the largest educational trading firms in the entire world. I also was the owner of the second largest direct access brokerage firm um, in the United States. Um, Barron's ranked me the number one place to go to for professional trading education in uh, 1998. Dow Jones dubbed me the Messiah of day trading in 1999. Uh, as mentioned um, uh, by the individual who introduced me, I was chosen to be the inaugural keynote speaker uh, for the very first International Day Traders Expo all the way back in 1999. I, have, I am the author of five international best-selling books on the topic of trading the markets for a living. And as I mentioned, I have over 10,000 plus equity and forex traders worldwide in over 91 different countries. I continue to advise markets and exchanges globally around the world. Now, um, I do want to jump right into the material today. But first, if you're looking to follow me on social media, I'm the most active on my YouTube channel and the most active on my Instagram channel. Here's where you can find me and be in contact with me every single day, should you desire, should you desire that. Now listen, let's talk about the tools we need to try to be on the right side of the markets almost every single time. We're gonna need tool number one, a monthly chart. That's right, a chart where every bar represents one month of trading. Let's take a look at an example. Here is today's um, monthly chart of Apple. Okay, very popular stock. Every bar represents one full month of trading. Obviously, the green bars represent those months where um, the stock obviously closed higher than where it started the month. And of course, the red bars represent down months where the stock or Apple in this case closed below where it started um, the first part of the month. So we need a monthly chart. The second thing we need is a 20 period simple moving average. So we're gonna overlay a 20 period simple moving average on the monthly chart. So here we have Apple, the same monthly chart, but this time we have overlaid a 20 period simple moving average. Now I apply the 20 period moving average on the closing prices, 
okay? So this is averaging the last 20 closing monthly prices of Apple. Now, what moving averages do, obviously, is that they smooth out the data for us, okay? They show us what the prevailing trend is without being lost into the minutia, without being lost into the bar by bar noise. So there are times when you can see, for instance, guys, take a look at this. There are times when you might get a little confused about what the overall trend is when you see the market dropping. But if the market is dropping, while the 20 period moving average is rising, you still have a stock that is in a prevailing uptrend. You understand what I'm saying? So, to make sure that doesn't fall out on me. So, the 20 period moving average gives us a very, very simple but powerful way not to get fooled by the noise, the ups and downs that happen in the, with the individual chart, in the individual chart, with the individual bars. And so, despite whether or not the stock is dropping, if the 20 period moving average is rising, you still have a prevailing uptrend, okay? Now, the next thing we need this moving here is we need the space my space concept now, this is going to take a bit for me to explain my space concept goes such as this look i want you to understand that when it comes to the 20 period moving average stocks can get away from the 20 they just can't stay away from the 20 they can get away from the 20 they can't stay away from the 20 take a look at this so look stocks can get away from the 20. They just can't stay away from the 20. They can get far away from the 20. That's possible. They can't stay far away from the 20. You see, stocks can get away from the 20. All right, you see that? Stocks can get away from the 20. They just can't stay away from the 20. We'll do it one more time. Stocks can get away from the 20. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You see where now? They just can't stay way away from the 20. So this is a very important concept to understand that the market, all markets, all stocks, anything that trades is basically like a breathing mechanism. It inhales near the 20 and then exhales away from the 20. Away from the 20, inhales again, that 20 pulls it back in, and then exhales again, away from the 20. So it is possible, here's the point, it is possible to get away, it is possible to get far away, but it is impossible to stay far away. This concept will come in very handy as we progress throughout the presentation. So keep that in mind, my space concept, space away. What do I mean by space? The spaces, let's do this very quickly, just so that I make sure that you're clear on this, spaces between your stock and your 20. Spaces between your stock and your 20. Spaces between the stock and the 20. Spaces between the stock and the 20. Spaces between the stock and the 20. You see those spaces? Now, it's very interesting to note what the current space is. The current space that we're dealing with with Apple right now in the monthly chart is far bigger than any other space generated over the past 10 years. Very interesting. Space concept. Let's not forget that. Okay? Let's clear those lines out. And let's move on. Now... The next thing we need, all right, so we have the monthly chart. We put the 20 period moving average on the chart. I've shown, I've shown you what the space concept, what my space concept is. Now we have to talk about the color game that we're gonna play, all right? We're gonna put all of this together into a very neat, powerful package for you so that you can at least be on the right side the vast majority of the time, right side of the markets, the right side of your trades, whether they're long-term trades or short-term trades. All right, I'm gonna focus on the longer term trades today. Tomorrow, my next presentation, same time tomorrow, I will talk about the short term trades, okay? So the color game. 
Now, what exactly is the color game? It's simple. This is simple, but it's powerful, okay? A lot of times I believe that we bring complexity to the market, that the market is a simple mechanism, guys. It is not a complex mechanism. In fact, it's rudimentary. In fact, it's primitive. It only has three things that it can do, up, down, sideways. That's it. The human body is a complex entity. The market's a simple entity. But what makes the market seem so difficult? Well, we do. We bring the complexity. We bring the, the lack of discipline. We bring a lack of a set of rules. We bring a lack of a plan. We bring all of these things. We bring our baggage to the game that makes the game far more difficult than it needs to be. But this is a very, very simple game that has three things that repeats itself over and over again. Up, down, sideways, up, down, sideways, up, down, sideways. That's it. Now, we can deal with those three things in an appropriate manner. You can see, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see very clearly, especially at the end of this presentation, that you can play these three movements with a high degree of accuracy, at least in terms of being on the right side of the market. So what is the color game? The color game is simple. It is, it is when one color bar, for instance, a green bar, overtakes the high of the opposite color bar. So here's the color game. It is when green, let me get my little pen up here. It is when green, takes out the high of a red bar. Boom. It is when green takes out the high of a red bar. That's playing the color game on the upside. All right, there's a color game on the downside as well. It's when green takes out the high of a red bar right next to it. It's when green takes out the high of a red bar right next to it. I'm gonna keep repeating this. It's when green takes out red. 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 It's when green, we can ignore the tails, all right? Just when green takes out the color red. And so that's the color game. Now, when it comes to playing the color game, we need to do something very, very important. We need to only play the color game near the 20 period moving average. So you don't want to play the color game away from the moving average. You want to play the color game when your stock is near the 20 period moving average. So let's clear this out. The color game here is fine. Let's see if I can do a circle. Color game here is fine. You're near. It can be a little below, it can be a little above, it can be on the 20, just near it. I don't care if it's near it above it, near it below it, near it on it, it doesn't matter. Just somewhere near the 20. Color game here, green is, green. whenever green takes out that red, near the 20. Whenever green takes out that red, near the 20. Whenever green takes out this red, uh oh, whenever, <laughs> what did I do here? Whenever, uh, let's get this out of here. Okay. Whenever my circle back here, whenever green takes out that red near the 20, whenever green takes out that red near the 20, whenever green takes out that red near the 20. And this one's a little questionable, but okay, let's throw that one in there too. Okay, just because the red bar touched the 20 at the lows. And so this is the color game. You don't want to play the color game up here, guys. Look, this is not where you play the color game. You do not play the color game here. All right? This is too far away from the 20. You must play the color game near the 20. All right? And it's simple as this. You buy, we buy, we enter right above the high of a former red bar. You can ignore the tail on the red bar and just use the color portion of that body. Now, let's move on. There's a few other very, very important things I have to show you before we can really put the whole thing together, okay? Now, there are three main reasons why investors and traders alike lose very frequently. And guys, if you really get these three, understand these three things, I promise you, 
that you're going to eliminate the vast majority of your stupid losses in the market. Losses are a permanent part of this game. We have to deal with that. We can't, nothing in life is 100%. We can't be right 100% of the time. And that is not what I'm saying here. You can even be on the right side and do everything right. You're going to have losses, okay? That's just a permanent part of the game. What I'm talking about are the stupid losses, the losses that come from doing the wrong thing, the losses that come from being undisciplined, untrained, uneducated, ill-informed. We're going to get rid of the vast majority of those losses, okay? Now, check this out. There are three main reasons. Well, two are about 95%. Two are 95% of the reasons. But let's, let's cover them now. Number one, reason number one, most traders who lose frequently are, let me make sure my camera is okay here. Most traders lose because they trade against the 20 period moving average. Now guys, let me give you some backdrop on this. As I mentioned in my introduction, back in the 1990s, I had the second largest direct access brokerage firm in the United States. I sold it, but I, I, I had that. I, I, I formed that, founded that, and, and later sold it. But in looking, I had the, the unique ability to look at all of the actions of thousands upon thousands of traders. And I took a very big interest in the losing side the traders that lost, the investors that lost. And I looked at them. I also today have a very unique position in being able to monitor the trading activity of over 10,000 traders worldwide. And I study their losses. Now listen, I did a six month study on all the losses of my traders over the past six months. So we did a six month study. We took every single losing trade of every single one of my traders and looked at them over, over a six month period. And I will tell you that 85% of all the losses violated this rule. They trade, those were trades against the 20 period moving average. So what do I mean? When the 20 period moving average is rising, you're supposed to be a buyer. When the 20 period moving average is declining, you're supposed to be a short seller or a seller. You're supposed to bet in the direction of the 20. So if the 20 is rising, you bet up. If the 20 is declining, you bet to the downside, right? Right? 85% of all the losses of all of my traders were against the 20 period moving average. So what does that mean? That means, check this out, guys. Look at this. They're betting against the 20. So they're trying to be smart, trying to be cute, trying to pick a top in an ongoing uptrend. Like they're smart enough to know that this is gonna drop. It's, 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 too, it's been going up too much. That's their reasoning, 85%. So what does this mean? That if these traders, my traders, stopped trading against the 20 period moving average, they can save 85% of their losing trades. They can regain 85% of their losing trades. This is the case whether you are an investor and you're looking to hold things for a long time, life, if, if you will, months, years, decades, life, same thing, or short term, same thing. 85% of your losing trades, I guarantee you, break this rule. We want to trade with we want to play the color game with the 20 period moving average, not against it. Okay. When the 20 period moving average is declining, your bets should be to the downside. You should be looking to try to profit on the downside. Or if you're not a short seller in the market, at least you're not looking to buy anything with a declining 20 period moving average. It's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth the low odds. 85% of your buys against the 20 period moving average are wrong, 85%. It's crazy. So you don't want to play against the 20. You want the 20 period moving average to be your friend. So listen to how powerful this is. You can take an index like the Dow Jones Industrial Average, 30 stocks, or you can take the NASDAQ 100 or any, or, or your own selection of stocks and sort them into three categories. Which one, which one of these stocks 
have nice, smooth, rising 20 period moving average. Pull those out of your list. Make, a, make an up, a 20 period moving average up trend list. Then which ones are pointing downward? Pull those out of the list. Now you've got a 20 period moving average declining list. And then the rest that are, not, are like this, not rising or declining, kick those out to the side. Now, we've got these two powerful lists. Now, the list that had the 20 period moving average going up, we're looking to play the color game to the upside near the 20 period moving average. The, the list going down, we're looking to short those stocks near the 20 period moving average with the opposite color game. Let's take a look, okay? This is a beautiful, beautiful, Beautiful thing here. So we've got, in, in the case of Apple here, we've got a rising stock, rising 20 period moving average. Now, you can try to be cute and try to pick the tops, all right? But it is far better to just wait for the longs that present themselves near the rising 20 period moving average. And so, this is a stock where we want to play. All right, let me get my little pens here, my pen here. We wanna play the color game near that 20. So whenever this red bar's high is, is taken, it, it, can, it can be taken out the next bar, three bars away, four bars away, it doesn't matter. But whenever this red bar's high is taken away, boom, we come right in there. Now let's do this. I like to do it really nice and neat here. Whenever the red bar gets taken out, let's get that boom um, going on. Boom! And I want you to come from way out there. Don't, don't do it like this, guys. Don't do it like this. Let me show you. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like the booms like this. Boom, boom, Oliver, boom, boom. No, we don't like that. We want, I want that boom to come from way out of here. Do it. Boom, send that missile in. All right? Now, here's another one, red near the 20, right? Red near the 20. Let's get that, let's get that going here. Uh, red bar, green bar. Green bar takes out red bar. Let's send that missile in. Boom, all right? You wanna be careful with these that this work, but we wanna be careful there because that's not that close to the 20 period moving average, right? You want to be careful there. But here's, here's, here's another red one right there. All right, let's get, that, let's get that high of the bar marked. And then bring that missile in. Boom! I'll take this one. I'll accept this one on you. Just because that red bar touched the 20. Boom! And let's not forget this one here near that 20 period moving average, right there. And we got that missile coming in here too. Boom! Let's not forget this one here. Red, green bar takes out that red bar too. Let's bring that missile in there too. Boom! And see guys, what I do with my longer term plays is I just continue to parlay into them using the color game. As long as that 20 period moving average is rising, boom, near the 20. And what I also do is I use my space concept to pare down my position. So for instance, um, I will be selling, I wanted to do this, I wanted to do it today, but I said, you know, I'm gonna wait for after the event because I want the world to know that I'm gonna be selling more of my Apple, all right, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day I'm selling more of my Apple in this area, all right? Why? It's very clear. I thought that was a good idea for me, guys, to not do this until I spoke today because of the big space away. So not only do you wanna play the color game near the 20, get in near the 20 on the color game, when you get a, a, a statistical amount of space away, you have to pare that position down. 
it's smart to pare that position down. So you pull some of your money out and you get ready to put that money back into the play once it settles back in near the 20 and gives you a color game entry. And that becomes your strategy. Finding things with that rising 20, all right? Getting in on the color game near that rising 20, pairing out of some away from that rising 20. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Now, how do you protect yourself against being wrong? Because we can't be right all the time, right? We can't be right all the time. I'm going to get to that. Now, what's the, what's the um, second? What's the second reason? that most investors or traders lose, okay? The second reason is this. They enter far away from the 20. I already told you that. I don't want you doing that, right? No entering in your stock far away. I don't want you entering here, guys. You can't play the color game here. So if there's a red bar here, and then another green bar takes out the high of the red bar, that's not yours. This one's not yours. It's too far away. You want that color game near. It doesn't have to be touching. You just want that color game near the 20. It can be under. That's fine. Just not that far under. All right. You want that color game near. And then you want to take profits. Take profits. If you, if you did the color game here near, take profits away. Take profits away, take profits away, take profits away, take profits like I'm doing tomorrow away. Now guys, I've owned Apple from $2.65 split adjusted. I will never go down to zero, but I will ebb and flow with it. Away, takes, take my position down, near, pick my position up, near the 20, pick my position up, away, pare it down, near, color game, put my position back on, and I will play it like that forever until basically, un unless it really stops being a key play. Hey, Oliver, yeah. it's uh, yes. Jordan. You, you got about four minutes left, all right? I don't know if oh, you want to Oh, fantastic. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, you letting just me know. Keep it going. Yeah. I appreciate you letting me know. <laughs> no problem, man. All right. Okay. Now, get rid of this here. Now, Remember the tools that you need. You need a monthly chart to play long-term. You don't play long-term off of a, an intraday chart or a daily chart. You play a monthly chart. You, want, you don't want to be so close to, the, to the, the trees that you lose sight of the forest. When you're playing, when you're playing long-term, you want to see that whole entire forest. You take a look at the monthly chart. This will keep you anchored in reality, right? You want that 20 period moving average on that month. You want stocks, a list of stocks for the 20s like this. You also want a list of stocks for the 20s like that, declining, all right? Keep your two lists. You want to play the color game in the direction of the 20 period moving average, okay? You want to take profits away from the 20 period moving average, pair your position down. And then you want to repeat this over and over and over again. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go through a list of popular stocks today. Do your Facebooks, your Apple, your Babas, your, your Microsofts, you understand? Do your, your Disney's, your Starbucks, your Twitter's, your whatever, your, your, your um, do any stocks you want. I want you to take a look at the monthly chart. I want you to see where they are in relationship to their 20 period moving average. And you tell me, you come back and tell me, what do you think is next? All right. Now, for those of you guys, that's your homework. All right. That's your homework. I'm going to be waiting for your responses. Oliver, I've taken a look at the monthly charts with the 20 period moving average, and I'm willing to bet this is next. You'd let me know. I want to hear from you, okay? I want to hear from you. All right, guys, look, I have a Trade for Wealth program. I have about 450, almost 500 traders. We've been doing this a long time, guys. We've been taking advantage of the markets from a wealth program. Traders pay $4,000 to be a part of this program, but it's one fee for the rest of their lives. And you know what we do? 
they know every single move I make from a wealth perspective, every single investment, every single buy, every single sell before I actually do it. We get together every single month. We go over the possibilities that might take place this month. I, we line up our watch list. We line up our entry points. Every single buy, every single sell I do for the rest of my life, my wealth traders know before I do it, why I do it, when I'm going to do it, and the reasons for those buys and sells. And many of my traders participate with me. We've had things like um, Microsoft, I mean, Microsoft from, from $24, Facebook from $18, NVIDIA from $9.50, um, PayPal from $38, uh, uh, the list goes on. Home Depot from $28, Costco from the low 90s. Guys, we take full advantage using exactly what I've taught you here and many other things as well. And so for $4,000, many traders make that up in one trade and then they have this program for the rest of their lives. Now look, 48 hours, I'm giving it to you for $2,000, less than $2,000 by a couple of dollars, all right? So for $2,000, we will meet forever. We will study the markets forever together. You will know every single thing, I, every move I make, every buy before I buy, every sell before I sell. We have study sessions together. We trade together at times, all right? We explore the markets together and you learn from a 33 year professional in this industry. So if you're interested in that guys, Contact information is on this slide, numbers and email, info at ifundtraders.com. Last thing, I will be back tomorrow, same time. I'm gonna take a concept that I think is very powerful for you and show you how you can take that concept and play the markets from a short-term perspective with a high degree of accuracy. Thanks for joining in, traders.